Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this, we are going to do the CPU routing test comparison between all of these three devices which are got right now. Starting with the first phone, which is a Poco X3 Pro device, and second is iQOO Z5, and third is a Realme GT Neo 2 device. Let's see, friends, how much CPU throttling can be difference between all of these three devices at the same time. That's what I'm going to demonstrate, and this is going to be really very interesting to see how much uh, difference we can actually expect between this individual processor and how much high temperatures all the three smartphones can actually get as well. And during this process, I'm trying to use the same settings what I used in all the three smartphones. Try to look at the settings, as you can see exactly. I'm trying to use exact 100 threads and 15 minutes of time. Same settings I'm trying to use, nothing much difference. So let's get back and let's start the test. CPU totaling 1, 2, and 3. Right now, the test has been started officially, friends. Let's check the temperatures 27, 9, 30 degrees. Not bad. So I can be back after exactly 5 minutes of time. In 5 minutes, we'll try to see what is happening with the overall graph, how much difference and uh, which processor is really consistent in terms of the maintaining graph. So these are the few things which I'll try to concentrate. So again, I'll be back after some time. So right now, as you can see, friends, we did reach close to 12 minutes of time exactly and take a look at the POCO X3 Pro's graph, how low it is. So it's kind of completely uh, into red colored zone, as you can see, yellow color zone. And other phones were doing kind of great. So 38 degrees Celsius and 37 degrees Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius, 37.4 as well in the POCO X3 Pro as you can see clearly, 37.4. So slightly as you can see from the graph between the Snapdragon 778G and Snapdragon 870 chipset. So both phones were able to maintain really good, these both phones, okay. But the POCO X3 Pro after this MIUI 12.5.5 update, these are the graph looks, as you can clearly see. It's kind of not that great and not that consistent. So there will be kind of throttling happening maybe in the POCO X3 Pro. So that's the reason friends I thought of comparing with other processors just to give a clear idea what is going on with other phones and what is going on with the POCO X3 Pro. So I'll, we'll try to come to the conclusion later on. It's because few of the users are actually planning to buy the iQOO Z5 and they're, but they're a bit confused. Like should they buy the POCO X3 Pro or iQOO Z5? So this video might be helpful. For those kind of users so again be back after some time so at maybe after one minute the test will completely finish because right now the time is about close to 14 minutes of time so final friends we got the cpu routing test results after 15 minutes of time and you can take a look at the graph how much it is and if you try to observe the cpu routing up to 67 percent in the poco x3 pro device 60 sorry 63 percentage cpu total and 91 percent in the iqo z5 and 91 percent even in the realme gt neo 2 Realme GT Neo 2 and the iQOO Z5, they're both are having really good in terms of the CPU totaling. As you can see, the graph and overall results, it's kind of really great to see this kind of consistent performance. But even though iQOO Z5 has got slightly higher scores than the Realme GT Neo 2, we need to compare the scores overall. But CPU total was able to man main manage exactly similar, nothing much huge difference between these two devices, Realme GT Neo 2 and the iQOO Z5. But whereas the POCO X3 Pro, it's not like that, friends. So after the MIUI 12.5.5 update, these are graph, these are how it looks. That's it, friends. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more updates. And in case if you're having any other queries, let me know in the comment section below. And meanwhile, sending off friends. Thank you for watching. And then stay tuned. Bye.